Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Picture. It's Mechanical Robbie, who was built around the remains of the original Godzilla and it was later renovated by the anti Megalosaurus Force for the sole purpose of dramatic effect, first by cases such as Godzilla. Her you first saw action in 2003 when he was deployed to battle Godzilla when he surfaced at Akihima. However, Godzilla's roar awakened the original Godzilla's restless spirit, attached to her skeleton, causing the machine to go berserk. Kiryu was recalled in his programming, altered so this incident could never occur again, and was sent out against Godzilla a second time when he landed in Tokyo. Kiryu fought Godzilla to a craw, leaving him with a gruesome chest, landing himself losing an arm. Kiryu was rebuilt over a year and sent into contact with Godzilla again when he returned to Tokyo. Kiryu fought alongside Rasa and her twin larvae and finally triumphed against his organic counterpart by reopening the wound on Godzilla's chest. The original Godzilla spirit took control of Kiryu once again and chose to sink himself in the Japan Trench with immobilized Godzilla and deactivate rather than kill another member of his kind. At most, the Absolute Zero Cannon has turned multiple skyscrapers to Absolute Zero. Godzilla survived the Absolute Zero Cannon. Kiryu also is built from the original Godzilla, whose heat ray was 100 million degrees Celsius and can generate 787.58 petatons in TNT, making him multi continent level. At eyes, the Kiryu Saga is its own extension of the show era. Godzilla compared to a killed Mothra, the same Mothra as 1961, who, besides size, has the same stats as Hill Mothra, an older dying Mothra, can overpower 1964 Godzilla, a larval killed Mothra, was compared to King Hitler and defeat him with help. King Hitler compared to his own fighter, who was able to fight a fourth dimensional being, making him stay from universal level. At most, Kiryu's M-A-S-E-R-S is a laser that works with higher frequency buttons in a visible light spectrum. Godzilla can keep up with his M-A-S-E-R-S, making him faster than light. At eyes, Godzilla takes Mothra, Kill Mothra, can tag Kill King Hitler, who should be faster than Kill Shigen, who traveled from the Space Hunter and Nebula to Earth within minutes on more than one occasion, making him massively faster than light plus. He withstands Godzilla's atomic presence physical attacks. He should also be more durable than the original Godzilla, who survived the oxygen destroyer for around 2 minutes, which can destroy stuff at an atomic level. Normally, it is a human operated deck. However, it can get controlled by the consciousness of the original Godzilla, who you should have comfortable intelligence. Godzilla has enough cognitive thought to know that humanity entered his family, destroyed his natural habitat and radiated him, answering with destroying the closest human outpost, Japan, in revenge. In Godzilla, Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Spirit took control over Kiryu again, but instead of going on a rampage like previously, it decided to peacefully go to the ocean instead of killing Godzilla. Kiryu is powered by a quintessential DNA computer that may cause Kiryu's Godzilla side to take over when Godzilla is placed in danger. Because it has limited power reserves, Kiryu can only be in action for at most two hours or less when the use of Absolute Zero is involved. Absolute Zero Cannon uses up 40% of Kiryu's total energy supply. In Tokyo SOS, Kiryu doesn't have a battery life anymore as he could keep going for as long as he needs. 
Overall, even with those flaws, her unit still went on the military's greatest defenses against Godzilla. Metal Sonic is an easy epic version of Sonic from inside and undoubtedly Dr. Eggman's greatest creation, built for the sole purpose of destroying its organic country, Sonic the Hedgehog. It was originally destroyed during Eggman's operation on Little Planet, capturing Amy Rose to get Sonic further into the country onto the planetoid. They would have their showdown on Stardust Speedway, where it confronted Sonic in a race and ultimately lost. It would be far from the last time that it would appear, however, and it would repeatedly return to challenge Sonic and his allies in servitude of the mad scientist. Modeled with extreme accuracy after Sonic, Metal Sonic is one of Dr. Eggman's deadliest creations that has occasionally required Sonic and all of his friends coming together in order to be stopped. Metal is a consistent rival of Sonic and is stated to be Eggman's ultimate creation after the creation of many mechs. Sonic and Pika, the Ensign, who is stated to be the strongest enemy at the time putting him above the Time Eater, who was able to override the time travel that erased Solaris in order to pull Crisis City, a location from the alternate future timeline that it was ravaged the Earth and keeps Solaris erased from existence, meaning that the Time Eater dimensionally transcends Solaris. Solaris is stated to be a super-dimensional being who exists above time and is nearly consumed and erased all of time and space at first, which includes the Eight Salamander, which was said to transcend the cosmology, which contains string theory, making him hyperversal level. He can race against the lights of Sonic and Silver, who are able to move around in the white space, which has no time, and escape no space, which is a realm where absolutely nothing exists making him measurable. He took several hits from Sonic and by risks before breaking down. It lets the attacks from Surge and Phoenix slug into Sonic Fighter. Metal Sonic is somewhat mindless as he runs solely on whatever it's programmed with. He can be completely self-serving to Dr. Eggman. He only gains full sentience of independence as Neo Metal Sonic. As Neo Metal Sonic, he is superior to his case and overpowered Sonic after copying his Dio data. It possesses the intellect of Dr. Eggman. It overthrew and kidnapped Eggman before setting off the entire plot of Sonic Heroes by manipulating 12 characters into chasing and fighting a small segment. All while copying their abilities and data over the course of their separate adventures, all to gain the power to conquer the world and defeat Sonic once and for all. After combining its data with the power of chaos, Eggman believed that the overlord to be unbeatable by leaving the Eclat Planet and had outstep the chaos and moved, but matched its power. After being complete, it took the combined might of Super Sonic, Super Tails, and Super Knuckles to defeat it. Team Stark, Rose, and Chaotix needed to buy time for Team Sonic to charge up with the Emeralds. The Team Maximum Overdrive attack runs the risk of overheating and disabling Metal Sonic's systems. Overall, even with those flaws, Metal Sonic is still one of Eggman's most deadliest weapons ever created. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. You know what? What is even the point? This fight was a massive stunt in Metal Sonic's favor. He just took every advantage over Kuryu. I can't name anything that Kuryu can do in order to win. Even if you don't agree with a hyperversal scaling, Metal Sonic still has a lot more universal to multiversal scaling that would still put him above Kuryu. Next time on Total Fight Time.